Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and all our social media platforms at Fino Boxing. You can follow my personal social media at Adriana underscore sports. Enjoy. Three on pay-per-view. His record a perfect one, 15 wins. 12 of those coming inside the distance, fighting out of Ugeli, Nigeria. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing F.A. Ajagba. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great honor and pleasure to introduce my amazingly talented colleague all week long, the lovely Christina Poncher, to handle the Q&A. Christina. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Ray. It's been a pleasure working with you all week long. This has been Awesome, so good to see all you guys and time to get some shine before Saturday night. Um, we're gonna kind of start in order of uh, the bouts, how they're gonna go. So we're gonna start with the two TV fights first and uh, Vladimir Hernandez, uh, I'll start with you. Gardy Lopez, you're gonna translate for us. Thank you, appreciate you. Um, Vladimir, for you, this is a huge opportunity. Your first time fighting in Las Vegas, uh, a big pay-per-view card. What does this opportunity mean to you? You can just pick up your mic. They're in front of you, Guardi. This is a great opportunity for you. How do you feel to fight in a big cartel in Las Vegas? Well, first of all, I want to take off. Excuse me, can you take off the mask and put the mic on a little bit more? Thank you. First of all, I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity. I'm excited and I did a great preparation for this fight. I'm very excited for this opportunity and I did a great preparation for this bout. You're coming off a career best victory against Alfredo Angulo, a tremendous fight in which you were the underdog. How do you kind of build on the momentum from that fight even though it was 13 months ago? Eh, una gran victoria entre Alfredo Angulo, eh, ¿cómo eh, usas el momentum de esa victoria para, a pesar de que fue hace 13 meses? Pues, este, vengo, pues como digo, vengo bien preparado y pues la victoria de Alfredo Angulo me favoreció muy bien, me dieron buena oportunidad y esta es otra gran oportunidad y no la voy a desaprovechar. Uh, like I said, I'm very well prepared, you know, that was a big opportunity yeah. and this one is a bigger opportunity, so I'm, I'm going to take full advantage of it. Obviously, J-Rock is a different kind of opponent than Alfredo Angulo was. Uh, what is it going to take for you come Saturday night to score the victory against Julian on Saturday? Este es un oponente diferente. ¿Qué va a tomar para que salga con la victoria ante Julian el sábado? Sí, sabemos que es un oponente diferente, rápido y... Que aguanta, pero sabemos que será una guerra arriba del ring y vengo preparado para eso. Uh, we know he's a different opponent. Uh, we know he's uh, going to be a tough fight. He's a tough opponent. Uh, but we're ready for a war. We're very prepared for Saturday. Anything you'd like to say to his fans in Spanish? Algo más que quieras decir en español? Pues que a toda la afición mexicana vamos con todo y Dios los bendiga. Gracias. Uh, we're coming uh, with everything to my Mexican people. Uh, God bless you all. All right, short and sweet. Muchas gracias. And over to your opponent now, Julian J. Rock. Good to see you. It's been quite some time since we've been up here and you've been ready to do a press conference Chelsea. like this. Yes. Uh, a career long layup that long time, 21 months. How good does it feel to finally be up here on the stage, on a press conference, getting ready to step into the ring Saturday night? Uh, kind of like feels like I'm making my pro debut on a big card. <laughs> really? Yeah. You're I'm excited. Really, that's crazy. It feels yeah. like that a little bit. Why, why do you feel that way? Uh, I've been out the ring for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been some, it's somewhat a good thing because I got to kind of like recharge my battery. You know, I've been fighting for a long time since I was a little boy. So I think uh, sometimes rest is good, and I'm uh, I took full advantage of it. You're also able to take care of an injury that was bothering you, the elbow injury. Mm -hmm. How do you feel getting that all cleaned up and good. ready to go? I feel good. Not like you're going to get up here and say, I feel terrible, it's hurting me, it's right. bothering me, right? <laughs> Nobody will ever know. You know, exactly, exactly. Way to bring it up, Poncher. Um, what are your thoughts on the 154-pound division as it stands right now? Because I know you want nothing more to get back to yeah. world championship status. What do you kind of think about the division and, and where maybe a win on Saturday night could put you? I think it's still wide open, you know, I think uh, we got, you know, uh, two really main guys that, you know, that, uh, that are really good fighters, but nobody kind of like made their stuff the clear cut best in the division. So I think it's still wide open for me to come in and save, save the day. 
you and Redman, what have you guys been working on for Vladimir? I mean, I'm sure you watched the Angulo fight, albeit your style is a lot different. You're not, yeah. from what I know of you, you're not going to stand right in front of him. But uh, yeah. what do you expect to see from him, and what can you do to come victorious on Saturday? Um, he's a really tough fighter. He's a, 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 what I take from him watching his fights, he's a man. He's going to fight, and uh, I respect that. So, uh, just got to wait and see. I got something in store for him. All right. Well, I know everybody's excited to see you back in the ring. So welcome back. And, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, good luck Saturday. Thank yeah. you. And uh, that's the first bout opening up our television portion of the card on ESPN2 and FS1, 4 p.m. local time. The headliner on the uh, television portion before we get to the pay-per-view is Marcelo Coseres and Edgar Berlanga. Marcelo, I'm going to start with you. Buenos tardes. Uh, Mar Marcelo, uh, what are your thoughts on the opportunity to fight on a big card like this on national television in the United States and in Las Vegas? Marcelo, ¿cómo, Marcelo, ¿cómo te sientes de pelear en una gran cartelera y una gran oportunidad eh, de pelear en televisión nacional? Hola, bueno, la verdad es que me siento muy bien. Es una nueva oportunidad que, que, que vengo a aprovechar y estoy muy contento por, por estar acá nuevamente. Uh, I'm ready, you know, this is a big opportunity. I'm just happy to be here and I'm going to take full advantage of this opportunity. You have twice as many fights as, as Edgar Belonga. You've also fought in a world title fight. What, if any, uh, advantage do you feel like your experience and your in-ring, the amount of rounds that you've been able to go plays to your favor against the, the younger Belonga? Tienes el doble de peleas que Belonga. Eh, has peleado por un título mundial. ¿Qué parte crees que tu experiencia va a jugar en esta pelea ante Belonga? Oh, no sé. Eh, vine a hacer mi, mi pelea. No voy a dar muchos detalles. Este, eh, Peleas son peleas y, y, y bueno, espero que salga como, como nosotros la, la, la venimos planeando, ahora mismo eh, hemos trabajado muy duro para esta pelea, así que creo que vamos a tener un buen resultado al final. Uh, I'm, I'm just coming to make my fight, I'm not going to give any more details. Uh, I'm just going to say that I have worked very hard uh, and we're going to come on to win on Saturday. And lastly, uh, what do you know about what do you know about your opponent? Obviously, everyone's seen his knockout opponents, but what have you been studying for and preparing for with Edgar? ¿Qué has estudiado de tu oponente, Edgar Berlanga? Bueno, bueno, a mí no me gusta mirar mucho los contrincantes porque no siempre tienen el mismo plan de pelea, así que después nos juntaremos con mi equipo, miraremos un par de peleas de él ya casi al final para ver cómo vamos cómo vamos a hacer y, y, y nada es uh, I don't like to study my opponents uh, that much you know sometimes like they don't always have the same game plan uh, I'm gonna get together with my team and just look at some fights and go from there all right well good luck on Saturday night thank you so much what's up Edgar what's up what's up how, how you doing are you? Uh, Edgar Berlanga First, let me just tell you congratulations on, on your son. I'm going to stand up. I want to stand up. Okay, you do you. Um, I want to feel good. <laughs> congratulations on your son, Chosen, uh, by the way, becoming a father since I last saw you. Um, your last five fights have been in Las Vegas, but this is the first time you're going to have a lot of fans in attendance, a big opportunity on a big card. Uh, why is Edgar Berlanga meant for this type of stage? Um, You know, I'm, you know when I fight, I bring... I bring fireworks you know uh, i'm just a different type of fighter with a different type of energy um i feel like i belong in the card um it's a major card and i just want to thank my team uh i want to thank bob arrow and todd the buff the whole top brain crew espn for giving me this opportunity uh, the KO streak came to an end on after the last fight, and I almost sense a little bit of relief from you after that. Uh, you got some rounds in. I know, you know, Dre still had you doing push-ups in the gym and in, and in the ring, but uh, just your thoughts and what you learned about going the distance and, and you know, mentioning possibly starting a new streak. Um, it was a blessing, you know. Uh, I got the rounds in. I got the experience, um, and I'm just blessed, you know. That, that's what I needed for my career was to get those rounds and get the minutes in and uh, just just to see how it feels to go into the later rounds. And uh, you see my power still was there, everything was still was there, so you know, I'm happy. My team was happy and we got the job done that night. Coseres just said that um, he's gonna look at some film. He doesn't really like to study or do too much um, watching video on his opponent because as you know, you know, different guys bring different things. Have you studied him at all or what do you expect him to bring? Um, yeah, yeah, we definitely did. You know, we got a game plan for, for this Saturday uh, and we're gonna execute it like, like I always do. Lastly, your fan base has continued to grow. 
uh, tremendously. What can fans expect on Saturday night from the Monster? Uh, like always, you know, like I said before, we're not going to the scorecards. And, uh, you know, expect fireworks. Like always, get your popcorn ready. Everyone that's going to be tuning in Saturday night, uh, just tune in, baby, and uh, get your popcorn like I always do. It's going to be fireworks. Right. I want to thank, I want to thank my, my island, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, te quiero mucho. All my people from New York, all around the world, Latin America, te quiero mucho. And I just want to thank everybody for, for this opportunity once again. Bob Barron, top to both my team, Team Balanga, perfecting athletes, my coach, Gary Starks, Uncle Dre, Scooter, and uh, it's going to be fireworks Saturday night. Thank you, Edgar. Appreciate you. Thank you. That wraps up the TV view. Vladimir Tereshkin against Jared Anderson. And Vladimir, how are you? We'll start with you first. Hello, everybody. I am okay. Good to Feel see good. you. Yes. Uh, you. Uh, you want to someone translate for you? Or you want to? Uh, excuse me for my English. I uh, can't speak so much. I'm ready to fight on this event. I'm happy. I know about uh, my uh, opponent uh, information. We did the preparation. We're ready. We fight. And uh, we will win. Thanks, everybody. Awesome. Makes my job real easy, right? Thank you so much. <laughs> Vladimir, anything in Russian you'd like to say? This is going out everywhere around the world, so... Всем, кто говорит здесь по-русски, всем, кто меня понимает, привет. Я надеюсь, что вы будете на вечере, и ваша поддержка, я думаю, что будет чувствоваться. Всем спасибо за то, что вы пришли сюда. И я надеюсь, что мы увидимся с вами на вечере. Всем спасибо. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Спасибо. How do we say buy the pay-per-view in Russian? Buy the pay-per-view. Buy? Buy it. Purchase the pay-per-view. I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll work on that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll work on that. Jared, um, short sweet from your opponent. I kind of like a lot of your fights are, right? Uh, you spent some time in the gym most recently. We've talked about it before with uh, sparring the likes of Tyson Fury and Brian Jennings, and you've sparred in the past with Joseph Parker, Tony Yoka. How much does that build your confidence when you're in the ring sparring guys like this before you even step into a, a fight with no headgear and different glove size? How does that boost your confidence? Um, my confidence is through the roof already. It just um, levels me out. Um, but it's a, it's a great feeling though. They give me a lot of support. They always backing me. Um, let me know what to do and what not to do, giving me the game. So it's just nice to be prepared before I have to actually step in there. Speaking with Tyson Fury yesterday, he told us that when asked about you, that he feels like in the next year or two, when, when his time is said and done, you will be the next greatest heavyweight champion. What does that mean to you to hear the WBC and lineal heavyweight champions say that about you? Um, it means everything, you know, um, to have the support of a former, I mean, well, current world champion, um, maybe soon to be former uh, after he retires and everything. But it just means a lot, you know, it lets everybody know that I'm a name to be reckoned with and everybody got to look out for me. It's been about two years now almost since you turned pro. You're about to be 22 years old. Uh, how much do you feel like you've grown in these last two years? How much have you learned about yourself that's got you to this point on a pay-per-view at 21 years old? <laughs> Extremely. Um, <laughs> just by my level of competition, um, sparring who I spar, fighting who I fight, uh, Tyson told me, he was like, I'm a completely different fighter from the last camp. Okay. You know, um, just the presence in the ring, the way I carry myself. Um, and being sharp, you know, so we've been working on a lot of different things and being the best that I can. What do you feel like you still have to show? I mean, obviously you have tons of room to grow, but what's something that you want to go out there and prove? Maybe I, even just to yourself. I don't, I don't think I have anything to prove. Um, I don't have nothing to lose, though, and that's the da most dangerous person you can ever <laughs> face, somebody who, who doesn't have anything to lose. Now, I know you won't tell everybody, but you have been known to wear some pretty elaborate attire when walking into the ring. It's always been entertaining. Um, do you want to give a hint or just tell everybody to make sure that they're tuned in early to the pay-per-view? Uh, you don't, do you want to give a... Any? Uh, make sure y'all okay. tune in, man. It's <laughs> I tried, be, you guys. It's, we're going to war, just know that. You're going to war. We're going to war. We're going in our zone, but we're going to be in, we're going to go to war for sure. All right, I'll let you guys kind of put your thoughts. Maybe you can put a poll out on Instagram and have people bet, give away some t-shirts or something. Appreciate you, Jared. Thank you so much. We'll Thank see you, you Saturday night. Uh, Jared Anderson, Vladimir Tereshkin, opening up the pay-per-view on Saturday night, getting started at 6 p.m. local time. Move now to uh, one of the more anticipated rematches uh, in the heavyweight division. Uh, Robert Helene is taking on Adam Kalvnatsky. And Adam, we'll start with you. Um, how are you today? 
Good, good. Any baby yet? No, uh, still waiting. No, his wife is due with their second child, right. correct? The 12th, yes. 12th? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, on the 12th. <laughs> no, no, not 12 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> not 12 kids. Um, for you coming into this situation off your first loss, and then you got to sit there for 19 months and, and, and think about it, how do you kind of keep yourself mentally strong and prepared to avenge that loss come Saturday night? Uh, the people I surround myself with, you know, my team, uh, my trainers, my wife, my kid, definitely kept me focused. So, that, yeah, it's my team. Uh, you're coming in with the beard this time? Was that, I mean, you're baby face, but you're, you're now bearded yeah. face. You're I know Robert to, had a beard uh, last the time. The here. Robert had a beard last time and helped him win, so maybe it's going to help me win okay. this fight. <laughs> he thinks the beard helped you win last time. Yeah, I saw you copying me. Yeah. He's copying you. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Viking style. Very good, very good. I like it. The, the battle of the beards as well. Um, what does this rematch mean to you? Uh, everything. I mean, it's uh, it's. I've been training very hard for this fight, man, and it's a do or die fight for me. I gotta win this fight to uh, prove what happened last time was just uh, accidental work, and uh, that won't ever happen again. So, being that you've probably watched it, what, ten times, maybe? A lot then? more. <laughs> a lot more, a hundred, maybe. Uh, what did you learn from that fight? What you could have done differently? Uh, I got a bit reckless. I mm. went in instead of uh, listening to my coach and using the jab a lot more. Uh, lastly, where do you feel like a win in this rematch puts you in the heavyweight division? I mean, you were on a on a path towards a world title shot, right? right? Yeah. So uh, right now, I'm just focused on focused on Robert. Because uh, I learned that sometimes if uh, you look too forward, something hits you in the face. <laughs> like that right hand. So uh, <laughs> definitely right hand was focused on Robert and Elias. All right, Adam. Thank you so much. Appreciate thank your you. time. And congratulations once again. Uh, not to the original bearded <laughs> man. And, and with you, Robert, you too. I mean, it's been not since your last fight, since you've been in the ring, spent some time back home, and then most recently in Alabama. So what has the last, um, you know, 19 months been like for you? Uh, it's been uh, quite good, actually. We live in an island with only 25,000 people, so we have our privacy, our forests, our uh, clean air, uh, clean food. Everything is perfect. You came in as a heavy underdog and scored the upset in the first fight. Uh, do you feel like even though you were victorious, you're still coming into this fight as an underdog? I don't see myself as an underdog. I have never seen me as an underdog, so I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what they're talking about either. I just figured I'd ask you the question. Um, something they are talking about, though, is you sparring with Deontay Wilder. You spent some time in Alabama. I know you're not going to divulge too much, but just talk about the meaning of that opportunity, sharing the ring with yeah. somebody like that. We were three weeks in Alabama mm -hmm. to get the time difference uh, ready and, and stuff like that. But of course, uh, Wilder wasn't our main focus. Our, our main focus was to fight a guy like Adam Colnacci. So we had our own sparring partners there. So that was our main focus. And uh, uh, weather is warm in Alabama if you compare it to Finland, though. Yeah, Finland and Alabama, yeah, quite the yeah. contrast, I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, lastly, just what can the fans expect? I mean, it's a huge pay-per-view card, a big opportunity, a great rematch. You've introduced yourself to so many more fans. Yeah, I, I've been boxing over 20 years, uh, but this time you're going to see the best Robert Hellenius you've ever seen. It's time to retire, then. What? It's time to retire. <laughs> no, this time is the best Robert Helen is ever going to see. All right. That's good to know. I don't want to beat your ass. I don't want to know. I have no excuses. All right. Appreciate that, Adam. Bring a little spice, right? We like, we like that. You guys, it is going to be an awesome card. All heavyweights. These two going at it in the rematch. A highly anticipated bout as we move now to RCU. Uh, we'll start with you. 18-0, 13 KOs. Uh, for you, this opportunity between two undefeated fighters, two one-punch, lights-out, uh, knockout artists, what does the fight of this caliber mean to you to be in a co-main event on, on a huge undercard? Este es una batalla de invictos pegadores fuertes. Eh, ¿Qué significa ser el combate coestelar de esta gran cartelera? Bueno, para mí significa mucho, uh -huh. y ya que tremenda oportunidad, tengo la oportunidad en mi vida y vengo a demostrar Que, que soy un campeón y vengo a ganar. Uh, this means a lot to me. Uh, I'm going to show that I'm a champion and I'm come here to win. Um, was it true that you were calling out for FA Jogba? Was this a fight that you, that you wanted? Esta es una pelea que tú estabas buscando ante ante FA. 
Sí, hace mucho tiempo, hace mucho tiempo venía buscando esta pelea, porque sé que le voy a, que le puedo ganar y le voy a ganar. Uh, I've been looking for this fight for a long time because I know it can beat him and I'm going to beat him. Okay, uh, that answers one of my questions then. Um, how was camp with Eddie Reynoso to prepare a lot of world champions in that gym? How does working with Eddie and being around other world champions um, like Canelo, etc., boost your morale coming into this fight? How is the experience of training with Eddie Reynoso, with Canelo and other champions? How do you use that experience to win this fight? Bueno, la verdad que ahí en el equipo me siento muy bien. He tenido mucha experiencia ya con, con ellos y hemos trabajado bien duro. Me han, me han enseñado bastante, he aprendido mucho bastante ahí de, de, de gimnasio, de Eddie Reynoso, de Saúl. Y me siento bien contento de, de, estar, de estar trabajando con ellos y que me estén apoyando para, para ser campeón mundial. I feel great, you know, it has been a great experience training with, with uh, Eddie and also learning a lot from Saul uh, and also that they uh, are supporting me a lot for this fight too. What's something that Canelo has told you to help you prepare for a fight of this magnitude? ¿Qué es algo que te ha enseñado Canelo para prepararte para una pelea de esta magnitud? Principalmente tener paciencia y, y, y enfoque, enfoque de en trabajo. No, no desesperarme, estar tranquilo. Uh, he has taught me to be patient and to be focused, not get desperate and be calm in the ring. And also to have confidence in the work that I have done and the preparation that I did for this fight. Well, obviously very confident being that he called for um, F.A. to be an opponent of his and now it's come to fruition. So what have you seen in F.A. that you feel like um, you can capitalize on to walk away victorious? What is it? Because they've even fought on the same cards before. Eh, Tienes la confianza porque estás viendo a, a F como un peleador que tú puedes derrotar. ¿Qué es lo que has visto en él que piensas que puede salir con la victoria? Bueno, lo que he visto es que, que no tiene mucho buceo. Lo único que tiene depende de su pegada. Pues no tiene otros recursos que pueda acudir en caso de que se encuentre un peleador que no, le puede, no lo pueda conectar con esa derecha que tiene. No tiene más nada, no, no va a saber qué hacer. Ese recurso no lo tiene, yo sí lo tengo todo. What I have seen is that he, uh, the only thing that he has is the power. He is not a very uh, skilled boxer. And once he faces someone like me who has a lot of resources, it's going to be different for him. All right, Frank, thank you so much. Gracias, gracias a ti a todos. All right, F.A., did you hear what he had to say? <laughs> I'll, I'll remind you in just a minute, but first, uh, we'll just talk about what this opportunity means to you. Uh, Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, the third fight, huge pay-per-view, and you're the co-main event. Uh, your thoughts on the opportunity, what that means yeah, to your uh, family? Mm, uh, thank, you, thank you for coming, and, uh, and I appreciate you for coming to this, to this show. And uh, mm, I want to thank uh, Top Park and uh, my manager for giving me this opportunity to fight on the card of Tyson Fury and uh, Wilder. You know, so I'm I'm grateful for that. So I'm looking forward to the fight. Do you think that Frank Sanchez made a mistake calling you out? You so what? Do you think that he made a mistake in calling you out, wanting to fight you? Was that was that a mistake? Yeah, I, yeah, actually, he made a huge mistake to calling me out. That's a big, huge mistake calling me out. So he has to stay waiting. He said um, that he believes that you uh, only have power, that you don't have boxing ability. I know that you and Coach K. Karoma have been working a lot on the boxing aspect, working a lot on, on using the jab. Well, those boxers has been working on is different. It's not me. So we're going to see about that in the fight. So he wants to test my power. Well, we see about that. Yeah, that's what the fans want to see too, right? That's what, the, that's what they're here for, is the, him to test your power. One more question. Uh, you've sparred with Jared. You've yeah. been in the gym with Tyson. What has it been like working around um, yeah, these other uh, heavyweights? Yeah, he's been good. Uh, this, uh, this, this is a good, yeah, good people to spar with. And uh, it's a, like a uh, spar Tyson for it. It gave me a lot of experience, you know, you know some skis and uh, some stuff like that. But I don't want to say, as for Jared, I don't see, you know, it's be give me like a uh, uh, pressure, like keep me moving, you know, yeah. yeah, to keep me moving, out to throw more combination punches, you know, that's what I, that's what we we'll be working on in the gym. Iron sharpens iron, right? Yeah, so I'm I'm excited to for this fight. We are all excited as well. Fa, good to see you. Yeah, so it is a good luck to him. Yep, he says good luck to you. He said buena suerte. Gracias. Suerte para el domingo. Stay ready. Listo. Stay ready, man. Stay ready. No vemos el sábado. You make a big huge mistake. No vemos el sábado. You make a big huge mistake. Just watch and see. 
Sí, y estamos para el one hand. Aquí no se habla mucho, mi hermano, se habla en el ring. Ok, we we'll see about that. <laughs> see, stay ready. Let me speak in Spanish now, y'all. He said, like, we'll see about that. Very good. I love it. Well, that, that wraps it up.